Right, it's Sunday morning. I'm on another farm in another county. It's Cambridgeshire this morning. And I'm with my Bulgarian friend, Kako. Hello, chaps. Uh, would you like to give a shout out to the Bulgarian nation? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> say something nice for Bulgaria. What I can say. Nisme took the detect for me. Happy days! We've got lots of land to go at today, out of muddy boots again from last week where we got all the Roman brooches. Well, that was in Swindon, this time we're in Cambridgeshire. Loads and loads of land to go at. It's a sense of anticipation. Happy days. Somebody's just flew in for the rally, look. There's the aeroplane. That's how good this land is. Okay, the plan is to use the dais for the first half of the morning. Well, for the first half of the day, and then I'll go on the knocks at dinner time. I'm an hour and a half in, it's 10.30. My first proper find. It's definitely a watch winder. But is it my first silver one? Let's have a look, guys. I'll clean it up a bit. It's got a very good chance of being, I think this is my first silver watch winder. Oh, happy days if it is. Happy days if that's silver. Never had a silver watch winder, kids. I'll clean it up. I'm just comparing the targets of a shotgun shell. And there's a lot of them on this field to the gold watch winder. Done. So this is the gold watch winder. You can hear that fruit through my headphones probably. A very immediate audio like dig me, dig me. Same as a shotgun look. Dig me, dig me. So that's why you have to dig shotgun shells to find the gold watch winders. So children, it's a watch winder, it's gold. I've found no gold in a horrible 2020. I think this calls for a gold dance. Okay viewers, this was Stephen Gray's first gold of 2020. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Gold! Fucking gold! Gold for my lovely Rachel. There's been Romans and Hamads off this farm that Muddy Boots have uh, put on today. Loads of land. Uh, I haven't seen any sign of Roman or Hamad, but I've just got a 62 signal on the dais. And I've got myself a little, uh, a little Roman. Possibly a silica as well. It looks, it might have been like a debased silver silica. We'll give it a wash. Oh, I'm spray, mate. Cheers. Oh, my, my hands are muddy. Thank you, Kako. Oh, it's, a, it's at least a Roman bronze, if, if anything. It might have been silver washed back in the day. It is a Roman bronze, I think. Cool. Leave it here for me. Okay, so it's looking uh, like a little Roman bronze now, but I still think this might have been had a wash on it, possibly back in the day. You can see the uh, soldiers there. I think that's late 4th century, that. Oh, it's cool, I'll take it when there's not too much Roman or Hamad coming up. Happy Deus again. How, how are you enjoying your first rally, Kako? It's very good. Isn't that nice to get out with other diggers? Yeah, that's right, mate. We just need you on the Hammond and Roman. That's right. 
That's the plan, mate. Good luck. Thank you, mate. I'm looking at this hammered coin that Alan's found, and we can't get a grip on ex exactly how the face looks. Possibly could be that way. Could be somebody facing left there, but certainly not a definite one. So what, what I usually tend to favour when, when it's a coin looking like this, obviously you'd love it to be something like Saxon and who knows, but uh, there's a high probability this one's one of those Saldinos again, but it's a very nice coin and it's an interesting coin, I like Alan's it. Alan's on his uh, Equinox today. What sort of settings is that? Field, field one? Yeah, field one. Well, well done on the unusual hammered, Alan. Thank you. Just on the edge of the field here. Uh, I'm hoping this is like one of those silver buttons from maybe around the 1600s, but I don't know that. It could be a bit of tat. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it is a silver button, but it's a bit bashed up. I'll give it a wipe. Yeah, it's either a silver button or a cufflink, but it's well mangled. But if it's what I think it is, it's either a cufflink or a button from the 1600s around Charles I era. So I'm happy with that one as well. So I'm coming along the edge of the field that the cars are only there. All these buildings here, there's a lot of trash just in this. I've just got into the trash now. Everything was trash. And in amongst the trash, I've only gone and bagged myself a hammered. I'll, I'll pull it out and uh, we'll let Keko clean it up. Yeah, oh, that'll do. It's starting to come to life there. Might be an eddy penny or something. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Even on a slow day, I'd be well happy with that, but I'm having a good day today. He's a bit worn. We'll just go for an eddy penny for now. I'm going to have to bring Keko more often. I'll have to make it up for him because he's having a quiet day today. But it's all about having a good laugh, isn't it, mate? And uh, we'll both get good finds over the next coming months. This is uh, Anglo Keko metal detecting. <laughs> Happy day. Hammer! Hammer! Co coffee time, Keko! <laughs> I think I've, I've earned a cup of coffee and uh, whatever else I fancy. Not a bad morning. It's actually about quarter two now. But I'm happy, kids. I'm having a very productive day out with uh, muddy boots today in Cambridgeshire. Keko's van. And uh, we're going to get we're gonna get big stickers put on it, aren't we, Keko? Like Sid and Phil. Metal detector, oh, me, yeah. me and you on the side of the van with our metal detectors. There is the sink, 220, 12 volt, the water for the sink is there. He's got, he's got it. working. He's got it all. Bed is there. Yeah. And this is... Uh, here. This is lunch, Bulgarian style. So we're going to tuck in now. Don't forget, kids, Anglo Keko metal detector. I've had to charter a plane today because I'm finding so much that I'm going to have to fly out incognito. You can tell this is the top puffs plane because it clearly says that it's gay and the excess stands for an excess of fines. So this is top puff one, gay excess, finding too much. What can I say about me playing, kids? I love it. I absolutely love it. 
don't worry about the green spots on it and that. It works fine. I shadowed Kako's Bulgarian van in this. I was flying like 200 feet above the road today, all the way here. Can't even fly. But I just felt that confident. I was buzzing. I just knew I was going to find stuff today. So I flew here, even though I can't fly. Happy Deus, kids. Honest. All the machinery here, that's where the gold coins usually are, right next to the machines. I've had hammered gold right next to the big scrap piles. We're just going to put the remains of our lunch away. Kako, I've just been telling the viewers I've, I've found so much today that I've got to fly home in that plane. In that's case, right, mate. I'll, I'll follow you above the van in the plane, okay, mate? Right, mate. In the in the gay excess machine. <laughs> gay excess. <laughs> there you go, kids. Lee, Lee, who puts these muddy boots events on, is just showing me this picture of the Saxon pendant that's come up this morning. It's amazing. And this is uh, the reverse of the pendant. That's just a stunning find that's come up today on muddy boots. Courtesy of Lee. Well, well done, Lee, and thanks for getting us out again today. Because I've had a pretty good day myself today. And it's not over yet. Just show me this, viewers. And we don't know what it is. But it's gold plated. That is gold plate there, honestly. So if anybody knows what it is, please tell us. I've only got 1% battery. Say goodbye to the viewers, Kekko. Goodbye, guys. Kekko's first rally. He enjoyed it. Uh, my plane's ready over there, kids. I'll see you back in Evesham later. All right. All right. So, because I dig sheds today, that's why I have a clear coat cap, so my coffee looks like a shed. And because Steve had a gold and silver, that's why he's got in silver cap. I need a gold cup next time, Kako. Yeah, I will buy you <laughs> next time gold cup, mate. Cheers, bud. <laughs> Good day. Yeah, I'm happy, mate. See you Very later, day. kids. See you later, guys. So, yeah, that was a really good day out today <coughs> with Muddy Boots uh, just uh, well, just past the Cambridge border a bit. Got me hammered. It's a bit worn on the other side, but probably something like an Addy Penny. Nice little round bronze there. Yeah, it's got some figures on that side as well, but I don't know how good this light is. Obviously this uh, lovely gold watch winder, it's not solid gold, but it is, you know, it's gold, it's, it's more than gold plated, it's, uh, I think you call it ro rolled gold or rose gold, but anyway, it's cool and it's gold, and I even thought it was silver at first, but now it's gone one better, I'm made up with that, and that is uh, definitely one of those. I think the military officers' buttons from like the 1600s and they have cufflinks as well like that. I'm going to leave you with a few pictures of some of the other finds, kids. So be lucky.